for this unit, we're going to be using the AdventureWorks database. This is a sample database provided by Microsoft. So we want to get it downloaded and installed. If you type in AdventureWorks sample database, uh, the top one will take you to this page. Well, maybe it'll be the top link, maybe it won't, but it's a GitHub Microsoft one. I found this one was not as easy to download and install. So I look for this one that had CodePlex Archive, and this one worked better for me. So if I click on this one, it still it takes me to an archive page, which is not what I want, but I want the SQL Server samples on GitHub. And if I click that, I get this long list of files that are available for download. And this has backup files, which is the .bak that you can simply restore to the database, or it has the install script in a zip file, and this is what I want. There's two distinct ones, one that's for data warehouse and one that's OLTP, and it's the OLTP that we want. So I'm simply going to click on this .zip file, and it will download it. And you can just let this go to your downloads file, and we'll move it in a little while. Looks like I've already got it there. And then we want to go to the readme file. And it's down here in the code, or just down here in the text, and it says readme. And it tells us how to install from a script, which was what we want to do. So we want to copy the GitHub data files to this location. C Samples Adventure Works. Now, you may or may not have this on your system. So if I go into C, I don't have a samples folder. So I'm going to control shift add and I'm going to add a new one, control shift N and call it samples. And then inside there, I need an Adventure Works, right? It says C Samples Adventures Works folder. So I'm going to go inside samples and add a new folder, adventure works. And now I've got that folder there. So I can go find in my downloads folder where I downloaded that and I can find, I can drag it into here. Actually, I want it inside the adventure works folder. Okay, now I need to extract it. And I'm going to extract it, but I don't want to put it in its own folder. I want it to be extracted exactly in the AdventureWorks folder. So I extract it there. And then I have all of these files in that C, Samples, AdventureWorks, and there's all those files that have been extracted. So I do that, and then the next step is to open that in Management Studio. So in Management Studio, I'm just going to do a file open. And then I need to go find it, right? And we know it's on C, Samples. Adventure works, and that tells you specifically which file to open, and that is the instawdb.sql. So find that file and open it.